Hey guys, my name is Nick. I own a trap auto recovery in Southern California. I had my little Herc 2.0 now for about 30 days. Picked up about 50, 60 cars with it. Completely flawless, flawless unit, guys. I love this part. I don't know if you guys will, but I tell you what, when I get home, I don't want to take the stems out. And after I'm done dropping the car off, ready to go. I'm making this video in case anybody here in Southern California or wants to make the drive, come check this thing out. This was built in Detroit. So if you want to come check it out, call Mike, Detroit Wreckers. He'll give you my number. We can set up a time. You guys can come check it out, operate it, see how you like it, figure out whether or not you want to keep wasting money on cheap, thin metal booms that bend and don't pick up cars. You want to buy something that's going to last. I've been in the industry for about 24 years. So I never, if you've heard the term, there's the best, then there's the rest. Don't waste your money, don't waste your time with any other lift. This thing is an absolute beast. Safety chains, right there. Lift, construction, top notch, frame reinforcement. Absolutely ridiculously overdone. You're never going to have any problems whatsoever. Springs, forget airbags. You won't even need them. This thing is a freaking Sherman tank. I've had other wheel lifts. Vulcan. <laughs> Dynamic. Don't shop anywhere else. Detroit Wreckers, guys. Buy something that's going to last and make you money for years and years and years. So we're here today buying a motor. What are you buying the motor for? My little Herc on the back of my pickup truck. How old is she? Uh, put it in in 2013. So she's about seven years old. Mm -hmm. And I'm just curious how many cycles she's gone through. Like if you have a guesstimate of how many toes she's done. On average, 10 a day. Wow. Every day, seven days a week. And then sometimes more than that just depends on you know what we do so it's safe to say you're happy with the purchase of it from us no, I love it. seven years ago still works like I, I day i bought it and you put it on how much have you had to buy so for example pe towers if they tow 10 toes a day every day there's wear pads pivot pins bushings i mean over the last seven years and what are you gonna say only, thousands of toes i've only replaced one pad and that's the one in the arm that's it Oh, the, on the bottom, mm -hmm. it scrapes the ground? Yeah, that's the only one. Yeah, because we weld pads on the bottom, so right. when the L-arm doesn't wear out, the pad wears out. Right. And you replaced it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. so I, I it, it breaks my heart to see these things not get addressed because it, it, it can be avoided. So basically, you haven't bought anything for this unit in seven years. No. Nothing that come with it. I mean, I've had to buy chains and stuff like that. But, that right, as far as, it, the, and, as far as the unit goes. No, nothing. Nothing. I mean, it's been... It, I mean, it's been a hundred percent behind me every time I needed it. And what other equipment can you buy on the face of this planet, work it 10 times a day, every day for seven years and not have to buy nothing for it? I mean, there's very, very little things you can't count it on one hand. Right. I mean, right. <laughs> that's it. You got, you can count it right there. Well, safe to say that you'd buy another one or recommend it to your friends. I've actually sent several people up here to get Again, so, thank you so they much. They said, who installed it? I said, they did. And they yeah. go, why'd you do that? And I said, because I wanted it done right. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you the new 2.0 that you haven't seen in relation to your 1.0. And one of the things that we did was we moved the cylinder back and extended the in and out cylinder. So you actually get five more inches of reach than the old one. Yeah, I like it. And it sucks in actually one inch further than the old one. And we moved everything, cut some windows out so we can have some clearance, but another thing that you should know is that there's an oil seal there. So it keeps the grease in and the water and elements and dirt out. Here. Mm -hmm. And there's also an oil seal on the subframe, which is right here. On both. The, water, the biggest the, problem I run into is trucks and cars with brush guards on them. 
Yeah. That five inches would make a hell of a difference. And we had other customers too that were very instrumental. Sean Biggs, have, you know, they only asked for two more inches and we gave them five. Yeah. So we felt you know, like. You got to have it on some videos. Some of them brush guards are covers and some of them have the bar that sticks way out. Right. Yep. Uh, another thing is, you know, that all the tubes now are made of three eighths. So everything, and then there's a three sixteenths on top of the three eighths. So that's over half an inch thick. If you look at this tube right here, you can see, you know, they're three eighths thick and then three sixteenths welded on top. So that means, you know, again, over half an inch thick, it's physically impossible to bend these tubes. This is, great. This is, this is a lot better than mine, but mine's been great. So I can't complain. <laughs> no, and, and again, we just evolved. So now there's safety plates, or there's the uh, safety stop plates that instead of the two screws, mm -hmm. we're bolting screws on the inside. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's a big difference. Here are the new pins where, the, here's the top pin, and here's the bottom pin that's yeah, threaded. That's a lot better. Yeah, I mean, so it really makes a difference. And he's the reason why, because he kept breaking the grade eight bolt. And as you said, this is, Allen heads are grade 16, 17? Yeah, like 14 to 16. Yeah, I mean, so. And then uh, another great thing that I don't know if you noticed yet is the mini hex pins that we put on there. Mini hex pins now. So not only do you get the big hex that you're familiar with, but your primary pivot on the L arm is now adjustable and you can tighten it. Like how you got it all set up there. And there comes with holes in the crossbar now so that you can get the frame fork kit. See the frame forks? Oh, yeah, I like that. So you, that slides in and you got the frame fork holders now mm -hmm. and you can do more with the same unit, meaning that multiple ways to attach it to your vehicle. Yeah, I've picked up a couple of them that had them wheel yeah. lift things and uh, Man, you couldn't hardly get to the wheels to lift them up. It's always good and heartwarming to see a customer come in, have extensive amount of use on it, and say, you know, look, I've had nothing but success with it. It's you know, I, well, it's such a pleasure seeing you again. I can't thank you for coming and no, sharing your story with me.